to the FDA are meeting to discuss what the future of COVID-19 boosters may look like. KPX 5, Jocelyn Moran is in the newsroom with more on how today could play out. Jocelyn. Yeah, well, and the FDA authorized a second booster shot for those 50 and older just last week. Now questions remain as to whether those younger will need additional shots, and if so, when and how often. Now let's take a live look at the meeting now. It started just about a half hour ago. The Vaccines and Related Bio Biological Products Advisory Committee is expected to discuss a few things in an effort to address questions like when is best for the use of vaccine booster doses among the general population, and what's the process for selecting variant specific boosters. This comes as the National Institutes of Health is studying different types of COVID boosters. Dr. Anthony Fauci says the NIH launched a clinical trial last week that will evaluate the safety and effectiveness of boosters available to use against future variants. What we'll be doing is assessing different fourth doses that are either ancestral strain or variant specific in the first phase of the study. In the second phase of the study, we're planning on looking at different vaccine platforms for the purpose of getting a great durability than we currently have. Now we know with the FDA authorizing those second boosters for 50 and up, there was some discussion among experts that there wasn't enough data. That's possibly something that could be discussed at the FDA advisory committee meeting today. Of course, we'll keep an eye on it. In the newsroom, I'm Jocelyn Moran, KPIX 5. A live look at San Francisco where city life is inching closer to normalcy, but there is one alarming sign. The city tops the list for the highest infection rate in California. Experts we spoke to point to the BA2 Omicron subvariant and that return to large gatherings, also tourism in the city. Although there is some concern that the sharp declining cases may have leveled off, other metrics like hospitalization rates are still encouraging. We were 18,000 cases a day in the Bay Area. And now we're down to 200. So that really is where we are. And if cases are going up, they're going up very, very slowly. Dr. Chen Hong also says immunity in San Francisco is still quite strong thanks to high vaccination rates and natural immunity from recent Omicron infections. 